Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak the iPhone 4, 3GS, iPod Touch 4G, 2G, and iPad 1 using Snowbreeze on the Windows, preserving your baseband. Now this is useful for unlock and we'll have an unlock video soon if you want that. Now what you're going to need is your 4.3.3 firmware file and Snowbreeze. You can get these um, in a link in the description and download them on our site and they'll be um, on the post which is in the description like I said now what you're gonna do is open Snowbreeze and then hit OK and close credits and then the next button now you're going to drag your IPSW file you downloaded into Snowbreeze and it will identify it It noticed that we are using, close this, I just plugged it in my iPod. It's, not, it's noticed that we're using an iPod Touch, so you can just hit the arrow and hit expert mode because that's always better. Close iTunes, hit the blue arrow. Now you can um, do all these extra settings if you want. Uh, if you're using an iPhone, go into unlocks and and you can check or uncheck if you want to activate it anyways what you're going to do is click build IPSW then next button and this step is going to take a while because it's building something so this will um, be done in maybe 15 minutes and I'll move on to the next step now that that's done you'll have this done sign and all you're going to do is hit OK and follow the instructions now it's going to turn, tell you to turn off your device that's what we will be doing right now and essentially just putting the device into DFU mode so you can follow the steps or just simply put it into DFU mode so just hit start and then it says prepare so holding both letting go of top And there we go. Now it's running iReb and it opened iTunes. So, there's no reason we're here and I'll tell you what to do and you can just minimize that. Now what you're going to do is uh, press the shift button down and click restore while the shift button is down and you'll get to this menu. Now what you're going to want to do is go to your desktop or or possibly the folder that you have all your files in. But for, the, for me it's in the desktop. What you're going to want to do is find the Snowbreeze iPod Touch. It should, the firmware file should start with Snowbreeze and then and then your device and then 4.3.3. .3. Once you found that one, click open and you'll have to restore your device. This will um, take like 10 minutes, so we'll be back when it's done. Now once you're done, you should notice the Obsidia on the second page. Just tap into that and you'll notice it loads up fine. So that's pretty much it. Your device is now jailbroken. Please um, favorite this video over there, like the video, and subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you guys next time.